Okay, so we're going to create a bootable USB stick on Windows, and we're going to do that using Rufus, I guess is what it's called. Uh, you download it here. There's a link to download it. Uh, latest uh, updated, there we go. Rufus 11, or you know, whatever. 2.11, sorry. Um, I downloaded Ubuntu uh, on this website. I went with the 32-bit. And I'm going to follow these instructions. And now we're selecting the file we want. This is the 32-bit. Uh, this is the 64-bit right here. Um, now open that. It's going to go over here. It's going to give us our volume name. I'm going to click Start. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK again. And it's going to start moving all the files right on over. And this may or may not pop up on you, but it's basically telling me that there's a new thing connected and blah, blah, blah. You don't really have to install this. You just run it. It doesn't actually install. So you worry about installing a program. It doesn't install. It's just a file. All right, so as you can see, you got the instructions right here. Just in case you want more detailed instructions, they're right here on the website. Again, Rufus is here. There's a link that takes you right to this on this website. It's right up. Here, download the Rufus USB installer, download Ubuntu, verify the download. I didn't verify the download, and I probably got, I got it in an alternative download place. This is the address that I was at, um, because it was, I don't know why I had trouble finding the 32-bit version. I don't know, but uh, I know I needed the 32-bit one, so I wonder how this is doing. And we're done, and it says ready.